Good morning everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful Monday. It's pretty and sunny here in Alabama today, but it's very, very cold. So uh, it's spring is coming. The time change happened, but it's not here yet. And so over the weekend, I knew I was getting a little baby doll in the mail today. She's a little reborn preemie size, and I had found her on eBay, and I knew she was coming. And so over the weekend, I found her a real pretty sleeper at Walmart in an uh, adjoining town because they didn't have this one in a preemie size in my town. And then I picked up some yarn, and I'll just kind of walk you through what I did. But I also wanted to show you I have two other little preemie babies, and they're both uh, Behringer's. And they're not reborn. They just um, came the way I ordered them from the store. I think this one I might have actually got. Yeah, from the store, from eBay. Don't really remember right now. But um, this little baby is a little reborn. Uh, she's got rooted hair. It's dark brown. She's got dark brown glass eyes. This is what the seller said. Uh, she's got applied lashes. She's got um, a really pretty lip color, and her lips are glossed. And um, I will unwrap her here, and then I'll explain about the blanket and stuff after. But this is the preemie sleeper that I found her at uh, Walmart, and it is so, so cute and so, so tiny. I love it. It's by Garanimals, and it's um, a pretty spring green with a hot pink on the sleeves and up by the collar and then the center face of the flower and then she's got pretty yellow daisy uh, petals just really cute and so i did go to uh, the other part in walmart and picked up some yarn i knew i had some colors at home but i wanted to pick up the green and the hot pink so i did get the hot pink and green color yarn and then this was thrifted yarn i already had it was a baby pink and this was at like an off-white or a beige, light beige color. And then uh, I have some yellow in there because I wanted to pick up the colors in the flower. And I had a little bit left from a skein of yarn that I had used previously. So over the weekend, when I knew she was on her way and she'd get here today, I crocheted her this blanket. And I crocheted her this little hat. Now, I didn't have a pattern. I just kind of went off what uh, how a hat would fit around these babies. And I started at the brim area with the pink, and I just went all the way back as far as I wanted it to go. And then I started my decreasing. And then her little hat kind of looks like an Amish uh, cap in the back because the center goes in, and then I picked up the green around it and uh, did green around the bottom. And then I did little um, three-stitch shells and then... Uh, just pulled the next uh, stitch over was just a single crochet and pulled it up and three stitch and single and three stitch and single all the way around it made her a pretty little uh, brim around her cap so I hope you like her and then I made a little um, tie so that it would uh, tie easily around her and I think she turned out really cute uh, she's got full arms, full legs. She's on a flannel uh, white body. And um, her arms are jointed. Her legs are not. That, and the way that the legs are loaded onto the body, they just bend up for me to like change her and such. And she's just very, very well weighted. And she's got, you can feel little poly pellets in her a little bit. But that's okay. She's just very squishy soft. Her head... Um, must be on a neck ring or it's just loosened but it moves easily side to side and she's just a perfect little preemie and I'm loving these preemie babies because they're just the right size um, for me to handle easily and no I did not make this one this was uh, purchased off of eBay but she's very very sweet and I just wanted to share her with everyone today and, and show you how cute she looks and uh, her hair was kind of dry, and I don't think they had combed through it, so I put just a little drop of conditioner and a little bit of warm water and swished it up with a comb and combed it through her hair, and her hair feels a whole lot better. And she's got little um, closed fist hands right here, and her little toes have a little bit of curl to them, which is adorable. Got a little 
legs that have creases all in them and just look like a little chunky monkey. And she's, but it's deceiving. She's very tiny, so she weighs like two and a half pounds. And, um, but just a perfect weight. Whereas these Behringer babies, I love them the bits, but they don't have any weighting to them. They came just like they did from the factory. Now this little one here, the little Asian baby, is on a cloth body, so she is a lot snugglier and easier to hold. And this little baby hiding down here is just all vinyl, and it's a little bit harder for me to dress that baby. But I wanted to show you comparison-wise, this baby is maybe a half inch smaller than this little Asian baby, and maybe an inch bigger than this little Behringer down here. So yeah, we just wanted to show you these sweet babies, and now I'm going to kind of uh, cuddle her up in her blanket, and you can see how the colors lay. But I thought it would be a very pretty spring-like colors for her to have a new blanket. I always try to make a new blanket for any baby that comes home because I think that's just very special and it's their own. And it uh, commemorates that they're a brand new baby and they come home into the nursery. So here she is and I hope you like her. She's very sweet. Now I have to think of a name. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and I love her little pensive face. Just like, what is going on? Where am I? What am I seeing? What am I looking at? <laughs> I just love that little face on her. And there's a side view of her little hat. So I hope you like everyone. And uh, I'm loving watching all your babies too. And even past videos. I go back, oh, years back and, and look at videos that people are, are uh, posting or that they have posted about certain dolls that I enjoy. I always love seeing them. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I appreciate everyone that takes time to do that, and also especially that takes time to leave me uh, nice comments. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.